with leave from the Executive Council, I can tell you that we agreed to, in the first instance, to put in $1 million towards the completion of this facility. And because we want all of that to go towards materials, we are also committing to utilizing labor from within the Division of Infrastructure to do the actual construction works. Two acres of lands were given to the Baptist community in 2006 to construct a facility. To date, the facility remains incomplete, but has newly semi-completed toilet facilities. With that amount, I'm advised with that amount, we can get walls, we can get roof, we can get flooring, we can get windows. We treat it with all of the basics before we get to the AC. Chief Secretary Fali Augustine then apologized for the religious persecutions, especially in the form of beatings suffered by the Baptists. And even while seated there, I wondered if perhaps as a country we ever proffered an, a formal apology to the spiritual Baptist community for what happened back then. I wonder if we ever apologized as a country, if we just, we just moved on or we just gave a holiday and we just repeal the, the act in Parliament. And perhaps now is an appropriate time for us as a country to formally apologize to the spiritual Baptist community for what we did to them all those years ago. Assistant Commissioner of Police Tobago Collis Hazel, in bringing greetings at the ceremony, said the commemoration had come full circle for him as he represented an organization responsible for the beatings of members of the Baptist community. Here am I, years later, as an Assistant Commissioner of Police, bringing greetings to that Baptist community, which we once persecuted. And I'm saying to you, Baptist people, let your light so shine. Saturday's observances in Tobago were held under the theme, Never Lose Hope, Continue the Fight. Elizabeth Williams, TV6 News.